Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to a, another yoga video. It's been a few weeks since I've taught a class or filmed a class, but today felt like the right time to film. If you're new here, I started filming these classes almost exactly a year ago when the world first shut down. And I use them as a, like, as a place to allow people to feel whatever they need to feel as a place where people could process with movement, with breath. And lately it seems like a lot of people are going through a lot again. So this is for you. This is your 35 minutes. You feel whatever you need to feel. You move however you need to move. I'm just here to guide you. I'm just here to remind you to breathe. But this is your moment. This is your reprieve your healing, your recovery, your safe space. This is for you. As always with my videos, there is going to be a YouTube playlist linked in the description box below. So I want you to go ahead and open up that playlist. If you're doing this off of a computer, you're just gonna open up a separate browser, adjust the volume manually on each browser. Otherwise, if you're doing this video, say off of your phone, off of your TV, you're going to want to set up a separate speaker or device to play the playlist. I'm going to count you in to press play on that first song, so we'll be all together. So you're going to press play on that first song in the linked playlist in three, in two, in one. All right, if it's your first class with me, this might be new. Those of you who practice with me a lot, you'll know this. We always start and begin our class in a place of rest or a place of stillness. Traditionally in yoga, oftentimes rest looks like laying on your back. There's no rules in my classes. So if you need to lay on your side, lay on your belly, tall, comfortable seat, kneel, child's pillows, whatever works for you works for me. And then keeping in mind this whole theme of the class is doing your healing, creating your own space. So however you need to position your body to feel safe, to feel secure. And then as you settle in, can you start to close the eyes if that feels safe? Just allowing yourself to drop in a little bit more. And then maybe let's start to breathe. So taking big full inhales into the lungs and big, full, loud, messy exhales out. <sighs> Using the breath here to slow down the nervous system. Our relaxation part of our nervous system, the only part of it we can consciously control is the rate of our breath. So that's why we're gonna start establishing that, using that first, because if we can start to slow down that breath, we can start to slow down your heart rate, the rate of your thoughts, all of those kind of upregulated nervous system things that can be going on. Okay, let's take one more really big inhale here all together. One more really big full exhale. And as you're ready, you're going to slowly start to flutter your eyes to open if you have them closed. We're going to meet our way into hands and knees. And then you're going to make your way all the way down to child's pose. So you have a few breaths to get yourself into that child's pose position. It'll depend a little bit how you start your class. And as you arrive into your child's pose position, I just want you to feel yourself so rooted, so grounded, so supported by the floor. And as the ground supports you fully, can you start to breathe in a little bit deeper to the back of the lungs? Good, big exhale out. One more time, big inhale into the back of the lungs, back of the ribs. Take a big full exhale out. And from here, nice and slow, you're going to ripple your way all the way back up to hands and knees, that tabletop position. And then we're going to keep using that breath, but now we're going to start to move the entire spine. So you're going to take that inhale breath, you're going to start to drop your belly. You're going to lift your tail, you're going to lift your chest. Okay, and then exhale, you're going to round your spine, think about pressing the middle of your spine up towards the ceiling. Let's take two more breaths. Take an inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, press your spine to ceiling. We're going to take one more like this. Take a big, full inhale, fill up. Big exhale, wherever it is, empty it, let it go. From here, you're going to make your way back to the neutral tabletop, so your spine is going to come nice and long, yeah? And then you're going to tuck those 10 toes under, if they weren't already there. 
When you're ready, it's to press up the heels firmly down towards the floor to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. So you're gonna arrive in that upside down V shape, that downward facing dog. So first more upright pose of the day. Take your time settling in here. If you need to bend those knees a lot, go ahead. If you need to adjust the position of your hands, go ahead. Lengthen you start to lengthen that space underneath the armpits. Lengthen the space down the calves, the back of the legs. Really nice. Take one more inhale here. Yeah, big full exhale. Lots of breath today, you guys. Yeah, take a nice big inhale. You're going to start to sweep that right leg back up behind you. So three-legged dog, your right leg is lifted. Now we're just warming up. We're just waking up. So that leg, right leg, it might not go super high. It might not be super straight, but it's about the intention, not how it looks. So squeeze that right glute, fight to find a little bit more lift, and then squeeze that right quad to find a little bit more length. Beautiful, take one more big inhale here. With your exhale, you're gonna squeeze your knee in towards your nose, you're gonna lightly land that right foot forward between your hands. From here, that left knee is gonna sink down towards the floor. You're gonna inhale, sweep those arms all the way up overhead. So you're gonna find yourself into a low lunge. So just opening up that left hip flexor, maybe a little bit through the abdominal muscles, the chest, depending on how far back you lean back. Gorgeous. Now if you're taking this practice more restfully, more relaxing, you're gonna keep this back knee down. If you feel like you need a little bit more fire, if you need to work something out, burn something, you're gonna tuck those back toes, lift up your back knee, make it a high lunge. So in that high lunge, everything stays the same, just a little bit more strengthening required through that front thigh. Sometimes pushing, moving, and attention, these powerful movements can help us when we're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the weight of the world, right? And from here, wherever you are, you're gonna take one more big inhale. And then you're gonna take an exhale, those fingertips are gonna come down, framing your front foot. From here, you're gonna untuck that back knee if you had it down. And then lightly, you're going to step that left foot forward to meet the right. So we're going to land in a forward fold. And from your forward fold, those hands are going to press into the front of your legs to help lengthen the crown of your head forward. Really lengthen out through your spine. As you exhale, you melt your chest, you fold. We'll do it again. Take an inhale, you press your hands in towards the shins, you lengthen the crown of the head forward. With your exhale, you fold. Good, from here, nice and slow, you're going to roll yourself all the way up to stand. Feel that gravity, that heaviness pulling you down. And then that strength along the muscles running up your spine to slowly roll yourself up. As you breathe, you're inhaling, you're circling those arms all the way up, breathe in. Good, exhale, breathe out, you're going to hinge from the hips, find your way back to that forward fold. From here, again, it's a halfway lift, that lengthening of the crown of your head forward. Good, and then it's an exhale to tuck those fingertips down and taking your right leg, so opposite leg, all the way to the back of the mat. So you're gonna land in a runner's lunge, your left leg forward, your right leg is gonna be back. And good, from here, we're gonna take the left hand to the inside of the left leg. As you do so, you're gonna spin that right heel down in 90 degree angle. Start to sweep those right fingertips up overhead. So yeah, you're gonna extend this side angle right away. If the floor is feeling super far away, no worries. Just take your form onto your thigh. Otherwise, as you feel comfortable, you're rolling this right shoulder open to open those right fingertips a little bit more up towards the ceiling. And now opening the chest can feel a little bit scary when we're working through a lot of stuff. When we have a lot of anxiety, fear, pressure, opening the chest can feel like a lot. So close your eyes and breathe into it. And if you still feel a little bit closed, that's okay. We'll work our way into it. That's why we're here to work through it and to move through it, to breathe through it. Take a big inhale, try and open up just to your limit a little bit more. Good, then exhale, feel that sensation of closing, taking your hands down, framing that left foot. And notice if that feels a little bit more safe to close the chest. If it does, that's okay, but just something to notice. Let's tuck on to those back toes tonight. You've got all 10 toes facing forward. With the plant of the palms, your left leg is going to come back, find your way to downward facing dog. Now downward facing dog, we're just going to hold here for a few breaths. Stillness is a great place to find a little bit more introspection. If you're feeling that need to burn, to move, you absolutely can take a flow here. 
Otherwise, two more breaths in stillness. Notice what's coming up. What feels fiery, what feels heavy, what feels scary. And then where can you soften? And can that softening be from a place of strength? Beautiful, take one more big inhale. Use your strength to soften, big full exhale. Yeah, and then we're gonna start to sweep that left heel all the way up towards the ceiling, so that opposite leg, that three-legged dog. Left heel's gonna reach, reach, reach up towards the ceiling, take a big breath in. Nice, you guys, big breath out. You're gonna start to sweep that left foot all the way forward between the hands. Beautiful, you're gonna make sure all 10 toes are facing forward. And then right knee's gonna come down to start making a little bit more of a stretch. Beautiful, pull the low ribs in, stacking your shoulders right over top of the hips. Now you have an option to choose to stay here if the stretch is feeling really good through that right hip. If you need to charge it up, you're gonna take those back toes, tuck them under, lift up into a high lunge. Sometimes when we're frustrated, when we're going through a lot, we wanna take these more powerful poses like we talked about on the other side because it helps us burn away that tension, that fear. It gives us the sense of control. Now notice if you're someone that always copes with strength, with fighting, see if you can fight, but from a softer place, from a place of carrying a little bit less weight. So maybe this is your cue to take the softer variations in this practice. Alternatively, if you normally fight a little bit more passive, Maybe this is where you explode up, you take on a little bit more, you choose. From here, we're gonna take those fingertips down wherever you are, framing your front foot. Wherever you are, you're picking up the back knee. And then you're springing that right foot all the way forward to meet the left. So that forward fold, that introspection, that closing in. Beautiful, take an inhale, you're gonna find a little bit of opening of the chest, lengthen. Breathe it in. Exhale, release it, breathe it out. Again, we're going to roll that spine all the way up to stand. Now, can you roll those shoulders down the back at the top? Good. Take a moment to stand proud. Roll the shoulders back, lifting the chest, pulling your belly in, feeling that strength, rooting your feet down in towards the floor. And take a moment, close your eyes, and pause. Breathe here for you. And then inhale, you're going to take those fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, you're going to dive your weight right back down, forward fold. Good, as an inhale, you're going to lengthen the crown of your head forward. And then exhale, those fingertips are going to come down, framing your front foot. Those left toes this time are going to come all the way down to the back of the mat. So you're landing in a runner's lunge. As we take those right fingertips inside the right foot, that left heel is gonna spin down 90 degrees as we open those left fingertips up towards the ceiling. So you're finding your way into an extended side angle pose. So this is really opening up through the front of the chest, opening up that front line of the body. So yeah, it can feel a little bit uncomfortable, it can feel a little bit vulnerable, but also maybe let it feel a little bit freeing. Opening up the chest to get that weight off of the chest, how does that feel? And if you want to close your eyes, if you want to feel whatever you're going through, do it. Take it here. We've got two more breaths. At the end of your next exhale, you're going to slowly unravel, taking your 10 fingers down. You're going to turn onto your back toes. You're going to come back into that runner's lunge, pressing down through the palms. It's a downward facing dog. And now hold on to it. You've got three big breaths here. As the body gets still, maybe the mind runs fast. Yoga is not about having a clear mind all the time. Yoga is about moving with breath, feeling with breath to allow yourself to feel a little bit more clear in the rest of your day. So take what you need here, feel what you need to feel here. You've got one more inhale. One more big exhale. Beautiful. From here, you're going to start to inhale. That right leg's going to come up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. From here, this time, you're going to deeply bend that right knee. So you're going to open and stack your hips, almost like a dog that's going to pee on the fire hydrant. Nice visual, I know, but it kind of works. And good. Press the floor away strong. Open up that right hip. Good. 
Nice and slow. You're going to squeeze through the core. Take that right knee towards your nose. Land that right foot forward between the hands. And good. Inhale. We're all coming up to that high lunge. The most powerful little part of our flow on each side. Then we're going to cool it right back down. You're going to start to guide those arms down to a cactus to 90 degrees. From here, squeezing your abdomen in. You're going to arch your back like you're high jumping over a bar. So imagine that bar is across your shoulder blades. You're lifting up and over it. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, open up that chest. Good, and then even as you open, you remain strong by pulling the abdominals in. Amazing, your next inhale, strong core, pulls you back up. Exhale, those fingertips come all the way up towards the ceiling. Next breath, you're pivoting that back foot one more time so that warrior two shape of the legs you've been here before. Moving with a bit of breath to release. You're going to take an inhale, gather everything up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, really sink in, feel. And two more. Take a big, full inhale, reach. Exhale, you drop in. The last time, breathe in. Amazing. Breathe out and hold for five big breaths. A little bit of a longer hold. Pull the core in. Close your eyes. Drop the shoulders away from the ears, but strong through those arms. And then breathe. Yeah, this is for you. Two more breaths. Amazing. One more big inhale. One more big exhale. You can follow those eyes back to open if they were closed. Wiggle those hands down, framing your front foot. You're going to turn onto your back, tippy toes, so back in that runner's lunge. And plant the palms right foot's going to come back to meet the left downward facing dog this time we're just taking one big inhale one full exhale right into that other side right away it's an inhale sweep that left leg up towards the ceiling three like a dog and then deeply bend that left knee open and stack the hips let it feel really good Good. Can you shine your kneecap a little bit higher up towards the ceiling? Take one more inhale. Good. Exhale. You're taking that left foot all the way forward between the hands. And take those fingertips up overhead. You're going to find a high lunge. Draw those elbows down. You've got those elbows coming to a 90 degree bend. From here, as we did last time, it's a little lift of your spine up and over. As you arch back, maybe accessing a little bit deeper into that front hip flexor, opening up those pectoral muscles if they're tight. Gorgeous, and slowly come back up. You're going to reach those fingertips all the way back up towards the ceiling with the exhale. Next breath, you're opening up your arms. So you're going to find a warrior two. Shoulders are going to be right over top of those hips. And now inviting in that movement with the breath. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, soften. And two more. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Last time, big full inhale. And big full exhale, soften. Coming into that thigh breath hold. This is where you dig deep. You challenge that strength a little bit through the thighs, through the shoulders. Keep holding up those arms. Then at the same time, even as you're so strong, you're softening, you're lengthening, you're being flexible, even in your strength, by feeling all of that length happen through the inner thighs. You guys, awesome job. We're almost there. It's three more breaths. Beautiful. Two more. That's it. You're taking one more inhale. Good. Take an exhale. And then from here, you're windowing those hands down to frame your front foot. And turn on to those back toes. And this time you're springing your right foot forward to meet the left. It's a forward fold. Beautiful. In your forward fold, you can hold on to opposite elbows like a rag doll. Hands behind the back of your thighs, knees bent, fingers to floor. Whatever makes you feel supported in this standing forward fold. And take this rest, take this moment. Nice and slow, you're going to roll yourself all the way up to stand. Rolling those shoulder blades down the back at the top. 
Now we're going to take a dancer's pose or a modified dancer's pose on each side. Why we're doing this is just a place to open up those chests. We haven't done a big currency flow before, so you might not go as deep as you normally do, but the goal here is more emotional than physical, just to feel this big opening up across the front body in a safe place. So we'll start on your left leg. You're gonna plant that left foot underneath your hip, and then reach back, grab a hold of the right big toe. So your thumb wants to be on the big toe. Left fingers can come up towards the ceiling, so it starts looking like a quad stretch. From here, you might start to move a little bit deeper, kicking that foot in towards your hand. And now maybe this is where you stay. That feels like enough opening across your chest and enough opening across your hip. If you're someone that's a little bit warmer, last three breaths, you might take those right toes a little bit higher, pull your chest a little bit more forward. It's short and sweet. It's two more big breaths to open up. Take one more big inhale. One more big exhale without slingshotting. You're gonna bring your knees back together stack the shoulders and then drop your feet come to that tall standing pose and right away if you feel safe close your eyes and then right away what came up what did you feel when you're opened right up sometimes when shit gets hard we want to get numb we want to shut down we want to close off and that's protective it serves its purpose maybe in the short term but it's finding this balance of being able to feel without it consuming us, without it drawing us, being able to feel and stay afloat. It's not about staying away from that ocean that might drown us, it's about learning to swim. So take one more big inhale, whatever it is, breathe it in. Whatever it is you exhale, you let it go. We're gonna do that other side, I promise I won't let it drown you. You're gonna plant that right foot down that left heel is going to come in towards your butt. You're going to reach around, grab a hold of your big toe, thumb to the big toe. Right hand is going to come up towards the ceiling. Now, maybe you stay here in more of a quad stretch. Maybe you open up across the front, but wherever it is, you want to feel some opening. You want to feel that challenge to your balance, that slight sense of unsteadiness that you persevere through. You've got this right into the ocean, not drowning, not sinking. And taking our time learning to stay afloat, learning to swim. And two more breaths. Yes, one more big inhale. One more exhale, slowly bring the left knee beside the right. Release the foot, drop the arms, close the eyes. And notice maybe if that second side already felt a little bit less scary than the first side. And just notice. From here, take a nice big inhale through the nose. Big exhale, clear it out. Gathering all that in, take an inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, maybe a slight little back bend at the top. And then exhale, diving it forward, forward fold. And take an inhale, find your halfway lift. And good, exhale, pressing down through the palms. You're gonna walk your feet back, you're gonna find that downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, let's inhale, sweep that right leg up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. Option to deeply bend that right knee here, opening and stacking the hips. If you practice a lot, you have a flip dog wild thing in your practice, you wanna to continue to really open wide open, take that. Otherwise, stay here a couple of breaths. We're gonna slowly transition ourselves into a pigeon pose. So bringing right shin to parallel behind your wrist. That left leg is gonna come all the way down back behind us. As you come into pigeon, you wanna equalize that weight on the fleshy part of your right butt cheek and that left thigh. If one's really lifted higher than the other, tuck a blanket or pillow underneath. Otherwise, you can take this seated as a number four or on your back as a number four of a climb pigeon. Here you have options if you're staying in your regular pigeon. If you want to roll the shoulders back, find a little bit of a lifting of the chest, maybe even taking your arms up overhead. You can do that continuing to open up. If you've had enough of the opening, the vulnerability of rolling those shoulders back, maybe now is the time to then counterbalance to start to drop inwards. Maybe taking those forearms down, dropping your head, closing your eyes. 
And this isn't at all about how it looks, less about what your physical body needs, more about what you need mentally, what you need emotionally, what you need to have life not feel quite so heavy. Gorgeous, you guys. You're going to stay here for three more big breaths. And two more breaths. One more inhale. And big full exhale. And now if you need to stay here a little bit longer, you can take the rest. Stay. Otherwise, to move on, we're just going to shift our weight over onto that right side of our hip. And then you're going to come all the way up to kind of a half seated fold. So you want that left leg out nice and long. And then you can guide that right sole of the foot a little bit closer so it's along that left inner line of your leg. If you're on your back or on your butt, you're just going to meet us here in this half fold position. And then left fingertips are going to start to come down the inside of that left leg. Your right fingertips are going to start to sweep up and over, so opening up through that right side of your waist. When we're anxious, scared, unsure, we tend to shorten a lot. We tend to try and make ourselves smaller. Like we talked about, that can feel comforting, that can feel safe. But here, if you feel safe to do so, take this opportunity to really open up. And to really stretch out, to find all of who you are here. Maybe as you settle in, those fingertips come down a little bit closer towards that big toe. Wherever you are, goal to strive to keep that chest open, rolling that shoulder blade back. And taking one more breath. Your next breath, you slowly come back up. You're going to take those right fingertips back behind the right hip. Kicks down, and then you're going to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Find a little baby back bend here, counterbalance. And then from here, you're going to start to spin around. So you're going to meet with those left toes back behind you, so in a modified hands and knees position. One more chest opener from your modified hands and knees position. That left leg is going to lift up towards the ceiling. So squeeze your left glute, kick those left toes. Option just to stay here. Or de-weight those opposite fingers, reach back to hold on to that left toe. And then maybe find that bit of a kick, that tiger pose, three breaths. I know, and then what does it feel like to be in an open pose with an emotional song, maybe during an emotional time? Can you feel vulnerable, a little bit uncomfortable, but stay open, stay present? And taking one more breath in. One more breath out. You're going to take that left knee down beside the right, the right hand down, and then counterbalance that openness with that place of safety, that place of calming your nervous system, that place of settling your child's pose. Yeah, not here for long. We're just going to do that other side. Start to make your way up to your downward facing dog, tucking the toes, lifting the hips. The left leg sweeps up towards the ceiling. Option to deeply bend that left knee. Option to flip dog wild thing. If you're in your wild thing, you're going to stay as long as you need. Otherwise, when we're ready, it's the pigeon on the left, taking that left shin to parallel or at an angle behind those ribs. The right leg is going to come long towards the back of the mat. And again, options to make it a bit more of a heart opener, reaching those fingers back behind you. Or option to take those fingers forward, making it a cooling variation, a comforting, cozy dropping in variation right away. It's not the longest pigeon you've ever done, so see if you can melt in and drop in right away. 
and as we drop into this closing part of your practice, now see if you can start to find a little bit more lightness, even as you come into these kind of heavier dropping in poses. And you start to reel the mind back in from everything that's gone on, back a little bit more into what's presently going on in your own body, in your own mind, in your own thoughts. We'll make your way up onto those fingers. And then we're rolling over onto that left side of the hip. So it's a half forward fold. You can snuggle that left sole of the foot in towards that inner line of your right thigh. Starting with the right fingertips inside that right leg, you're gonna sweep your left fingers up and over. Maybe fingertips reach the toe all the way. Maybe hand comes behind back of the head. Whatever gives you space in that left side of your waist, space in your chest. You're going to slowly come all the way back up. One counter pose, left fingers sweep towards that left hip. Press down into that left knee, little counter stretch. Final move coming out of your counter stretch. You're going to rotate so all 10 fingers come down. It's like a modified hands and knees position right leg back behind you. Last opening as we slow down, take those right toes back. Option to take those left fingers back towards those right toes. One final push, one final pull, one final chance to break wide open. Allow yourself to heal. Gorgeous, you guys, two more breaths, one more big inhale, and take it all in. Last time, big full inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Right knee beside the left, left hand beside the right. Hands to, or hips to heels, hands forward, child's pose. Now I'm gonna offer you something a little different to take your place of rest, your final closing meditation in child's pose instead. If you'd rather transition to on your back or side, amazing. Otherwise, maybe you drop in here just for a couple of minutes. And as you drop in, you consider that feeling things around us is a lot like deciding whether or not to take that swim in the ocean. We can look at the ocean, we can look at the feelings, or we can look at what's going on in our world. And we can decide that it's unknown, that it's scary, that we don't think that we can go there. We can turn our back on the ocean. We can turn our back around the messy, crazy chaos that goes on around us. Sometimes on the other hand, the ocean is so inviting, we almost crave that chaos and we can dive right in we can forget to bring our goggles, forget to bring life jackets, tell people where we're going. And it can feel like we get drowned in everything around us, not knowing up from up or down from down. But maybe there's a way to find that middle ground where we can float on the surface, taking little periodic moments where we can dunk and dive in, check it out, and then come back up for air. As we go through difficult times, as we feel, I challenge you to remember that feeling something, even the discomfort, the anxiety, the fear, the overwhelm, is better than feeling nothing. But as we feel, it's important to remember to use that life raft, that life jacket, whatever it is, friends, family, movement, breath, journaling, candles, whatever it is, you do what you need to to stay afloat. And soaking in these final moments in this beautiful, safe place you've created, this safe movement you've created on your mat. What do you need? One final moment of feeling. What do you need a final moment of letting go of? Can you grant yourself that permission to find that pace, to find that peace? 
to right here. And then let's breathe. One final chance for ourselves, for each other, all across the world watching this, moving through this. We breathe. Eyes closed, heart open, take the biggest, fullest inhale you've taken all day. And exhale, let it go. You guys are more than welcome to stay here as long as you need, soaking in all of the rest that you need. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, rest of your week. Hopefully videos will be a little bit more regular coming soon. Otherwise, take such good care of yourselves. We're in this together even when it doesn't always feel like it. My name is Haley, and I will see you guys in the next video.